Hey there, Jed Coverness here from JedCoverness.com and this is Talk Therapy. Where the first five minutes is me versus my ego, the second five minutes is me with my ego, and the third five minutes is just me. So here it is. I just literally talk, I think out loud, whatever is going on in my mind, which your mind is your brain at work. So what this does is it essentially just shuts down the parts of my brain that tell me I can't, that tell me I won't, and that tell me I'm the old me and you're never going to change. <clears throat> so I just shut those circuits down, I unfire those circuits, and I unwire those circuits. Now, <clears throat> what do I mean by that? I, I've recently been just, I mean, just literally engulfed in everything that Dr. Joe Dispenza <clears throat> is saying in all of his research and all of his meditation and all of his stuff. I mean, everything he does, I've just been completely involved with. And check it out, drjoedispenza.com. Dude's just brilliant. But it, it is happening. Like, it is so happening. We can change everything with our mind. It's quantum physics. It's quantum law. Whatever you think your brain fires and wires, right? Whatever links together, sinks together. Now, these are all of his terms. This is all of science right here. This is undeniably true, okay? There, are, There's proof. I mean, there's scientific proof of this happening. What's funny is, like, the same happens for physiology. The same happens for exercise physiology. There's proof that it, that it works, right? Why do we need proof that movement helps us feel better because we already have it. The whole thing is we just don't take the time to do it. And that's the same correlation that happens with that happens with the meditative stats, status, the, the thoughts, our thought patterns, being aware of our thoughts, being aware of our feelings and being aware of our emotions. And sometimes that's the hardest part is simply just stopping and taking some time to to rearrange those thoughts and to to forgive and to love and to understand what's actually going on in our life versus just trying to do the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again there are people who go 70 years of their life before they really wake up and go what am i doing right our bodies, we let our bodies completely control our life. And what I mean by that is we get into routine, right? Quote unquote routine. We love routine. Our bodies love routine. It, it's, our bodies don't like when we're not in routine. Like every day you want to find stasis or homeostasis, right? You want to find what happens. Everything is the same. But spontaneity is, spontaneity is, being spontaneous, is the best thing in life. Creating something new every day. I've started to say to myself, I, today is the best day of my life. Why? Because I choose it. I choose it to be. We are in command. We are in control of our own destiny. Unless... We try to control it too much. Now let me let me explain that, and and I'm explaining this to myself. This is these are my thoughts just happening right now. I'm going right into it right away. This is awesome. <clears throat> it's our thoughts and our destiny are intertwined, <clears throat> unless we try to get in our way. So if we try, like if we start to say, "Man, I just try so hard every day and nothing happens," that's what's gonna happen. If I get out of my own way and say, all right, this is the plan for the today. It's going to be the best day of my life. And if it doesn't go exactly to plan, oh, well. I'm going to lift it up and let it go. I'm going to surrender it to my higher power. I'm going to surrender it to my higher mind. Whatever you want to call it. God, whatever, right? That's what it's about. The universe, I mean, whatever believe and trust that there is something else out there hearing you and caring for you and loving for you 
always and <clears throat> ask for ask for really I think this is the, the best part of it all is ask for proof that that, that, that there's a two way con- communication like that is that's the biggest part that I would say has, has changed here is the, the amount of gratitude that has come of the things that I have been through and being grateful means you're already there like I don't know why I'm switching gears here but now I'm into gratitude like my my mind my body feels really my body feels very anxious right now talking about gratitude gratitude but it's okay like I'm I am taming my body because I'm firing these thoughts and wiring these thoughts into my brain as I'm talking about this and this is how it works this is kind of an active form of meditation but that's where it's at like you're talking them through and you can't just do it once you have to do it over and over and over again that's called practice right that's called a habit then it just becomes you from thinking to doing to being but gratitude you have gratitude for whatever you want right so your gratitude towards think about when you're thankful when are you thankful gratitude means you already have it it's already been done So, can you conceptually understand that you can think about something and make it happen before it even happens? Gratitude is the key, is the key to unlock that happening. After you have that thought and you fire it in your brain and then you practice it and obsess about it and then you let it go and then do that over and over and over again and then you act and be like it already has happened. That is the key. Like how do you, how do you really tell yourself or trick yourself or whatever it is into yourself? Trick is a word that I'm looking for. I didn't know if I wanted to say it or not and I don't know why I paused right there, but trick is the word. And trick seems sneaky and slimy, but it's your own self, right? So it's not. But how, do I become who do I need to be to become who I want to be? Our minds are like Google, right? You ask it a question, it's going to give you an answer. Now, it may not give you an answer right away, but you really, really, really want to be listening. You really do. So, you go from thinking to doing to being, and nothing happens yet. Well, that's kind of how it works. You have to really dive in. You have to really get into, as Dr. Joe Dispenza calls it, the river of change. You have to really, really get in there. Because if you're kind of just towing, you know, putting your putting your toes in the water, kind of just dipping it in and swirling it around, that's not enough. That's not enough change for your body to really accept it as truth. Because it's just going to want to go right back. It's going to want those chemicals of jealousy, of normal, of hate, of sometimes happiness, but mostly just suffering, right? And surrender all of that. Hop on that horse, grab the rein, and tell yourself, which would be your body, that I'm in control today. And this is going to be the best day of my life. And that's where it's at. And then have gratitude for it, be grateful for it, and let it go. And as soon as you want, or as soon as you feel yourself going right back into those ways, there's there's two different ways I've, I've learned how to do this. You can either say out loud the word change. That's from Dr. Joe. Okay, you can say it out loud. When you feel that un- when when you feel that familiar feeling like, oh yeah, I've kind of been here before, now I kind of feel like shit again and da, da, da. say it out loud, you're gonna be like, no, no, no. Change. Right? Like that's where you're redirecting your your mind. You're firing those, you're unwiring and unfiring the 
nerve cells, right, the nerve endings, and you're rewiring and re and firing other nerve cells, right? And that's okay. It takes practice. So you're doing that a lot. So the other way I've learned is from Larry Hockman. It's called anchoring. Anchoring, what anchoring is, is it's the same thing, except it's a physical motion instead of, I mean, I guess your voice is a physical motion too because your voice is a, a muscle type, right? It's a tissue and you're flexing it when you talk and your lungs and your diaphragm have to flex too, but it's the same thing. So we call it anchoring. So your anchor behavior anchors in, and this is from the T3 method, right? Total transformation training, t3method.com. I'm gonna show, throw that plug in there. It's freaking the best community I've ever been a part of. But really when it comes down to it is the anchor behavior is what's gonna happen. Like you have to practice it, right? At least 25 times a day. And that anchor behavior throws it out there. It corrects, it suffocates the negativity, right? It suffocates the negativity. So when you suffocate negativity, you're actually, you're actually putting it out there to unfire and unwire the negativity in your brain because you're practicing gratitude. You're practicing joy and happiness. Every time you feel like crap, you're gonna use your anchor behavior. Like my anchor behavior <clears throat> is my thumb, my left thumb going across my ring finger. Now, regardless of my wedding ring being on or not, that's my, my anchor behavior. My wedding ring has a lot to do with my happiness because I love my wife very much. But the other piece is don't let an external source control your emotions. So that's why I brought up the wedding ring but the action itself is my anchor behavior. I anchor it, I anchor positive, happy times, and any time that I'm feeling negative and down or down, I anchor to use that to change the brain chemistry that's happening. Anchor behavior and changing familiar feelings and emotions put those two together it's like the mind and the body are instantly in homeostasis again like in stasis but not in the way of familiarity it's in the way of unknown it's in the way of fun and in, in the way of such a different way to be that it's just pure it's just happy and that's that is what we want to be every day and that's what we do and true happiness comes to mind true happiness is just radiating in my mind right now <clears throat> and it's so funny because at the beginning of all of these i'm always just rare and ready to go da -da 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 -da, and i feel so calm and at peace by the time i get done with this talk therapy that it i don't have much more to say because it's and, and it's okay and that's why i say it right i don't know what to say now because this is what it does for me. It calms my brain down. It gets me to actually start thinking in a very cool, calm, collect way. And that's what this tool is for. Talk therapy, man. Like you don't need all of these gadgets and, and, and stuff to give you peace. You are the answer. You're the answer to your own problems, questions, you're the solution. So there it is. This is good stuff. Hopefully some people found value. Covernation, hashtag Covernation, right? Have fun with it. If you're listening to anything that I have ever done, I appreciate your attention because wherever you put your attention is where you put your life. What are you putting your attention on? And can you become aware of that attention? And as always, if you're willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down. I believe in you. Now it's your turn to start believing in yourself. Hop on my newsletter, jetcorvenance.com 
forward slash newsletter. Put your name and email in. And I'll see you on the other side with all of what I have to offer for inspiration, motivation, and anything else that you would like. I'll get there for you. Stay safe, stay safe out there. Be blessed. Bye for now.